one of the most popular Excel formula for the people who use Excel for reporting and analytics is sum product. In sum product, you can basically first multiply two columns row by row and then add all those values together in one step. Let me show that to you first without sum product and then with some product and then I will show you how you can use this formula in Power BI as well. First of all, let me show you that if you have to calculate total sales value here, you will first multiply the units with price per unit so that you can get the total value that is units multiply by price per unit and then you will copy paste this value to the complete column so that you have units multiplied by price per unit for the complete column and then finally you can add these values together to calculate your total sales revenue alternatively you can use the sum product so in sum product basically you will give the array 1 and comma array 2 and close the bracket and formula itself knows that it first need to multiply every single cell with the corresponding cell in the second column and then add all those values together so you can see you have got the same answer but with less effort so some product is definitely a very good and useful excel formula now how do we use some product in power bi well we have some product in power bi but with a different name so let us begin with new measure and I'm going to name this measure as sales and this formula will start as sum x. So basically sum x is the same as sum product. It helps you go to the columns and first perform the calculation row by row and then add all those values together. So sum x and then first of all we are supposed to pick up the table name. In my case this table name is tbl underscore sales and then the expression and the expression is that i have to take the price per unit and this price per unit should then be multiplied with the units and then close the bracket and press enter and you can see that my measure has been defined finally to see the value here i would bring in the matrix first and bring the sales value and you can see i have the same value that is 8446.5 so we can conclude that what some product does in Excel, you can do the same in Power BI with some X.